guys, and it's me, Mommy Reader here, or Reading Mommy, that's what it is, Reading Mommy, and so I just made the intro video, so I'm hoping that it gets a lot of support, and I hope that a lot of you like it. Um, so my next video is a book review, so I just barely finished reading this book, and I probably am going to have to look up, well, oh, I don't, because since I just barely finished reading it, I just barely, like, added it to my read list, my read list on Goodreads, and so I can tell you. So the book that I just barely finished reading is Paint the Wind by Pam Unlo Munoza Ryan, um, and I gave this book a five star. Like, it had me sitting on the edge of my seat. There were quite a few times where I had to stop reading it, and I was, like, right in the middle of a good part. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen, you know? Like, I love this book. Like, like I said, I get five stars, and the main reason why is just because, like I said, it had me sitting on the edge of my seat, and the characters in it are, oh my gosh, just, like, amazing. Um, I don't want to, like, read any of it, because I don't want to, like, give a spoiler, but there's, the main character's name is Maya, and she basically loses her parents in a car crash, and, uh, so she's forced to go live with her grandmother. Well, something happens to her grandmother, and she's forced to go live with her other grandparent, her dad's grandparent, or her mom's, her mom's grandparents. And so she, you know, like, and she, like, finds her love of horses, and she runs into this horse that her mom used to own. Or she ends up, like, recapturing, well, not really capturing, really, but, you know, like, rescuing this horse her mom used to own. And... At the end of the book, it's a very, I will admit that it's a very, it's a very sad, like, it can be sad at points. Like, there's quite a few points where, like, I almost started crying. Like, the end of the book was not what I was expecting. It's a very, like, it's kind of a sad ending because she has to say goodbye to, it's a very sad ending, we'll put it that way. So, but yeah, this is Paint the Wind by... Pan Moons Orion it is definitely a book I recommend if you love, um, I believe it's, it doesn't have any awards on it, but a lot of, um, places recommend it. It's, I, I have had this book forever. I originally started reading it in middle, I started reading this book in middle, I think it was middle school, in like, or no, elementary school. I was in like fifth grade. I started reading this book and never got to finish it because I had to return it to the school library and because it, there was someone else that wanted to read it. So it was put on hold. Um, sorry guys, it's like early, it's kind of early in the morning. My daughter's currently taking a nap. I'm kind of thinking it's time for a nap, but I also need to get up and clean. I just told my husband I would do that today. Um, but yeah. I uh, started reading in, like, fifth grade. Never got to finish it. Because... I think the reason why I never got to... Like I said, the only reason I got, never got to finish it is because I had to return it because someone else wanted to read it. In fact, I actually think it was my best friend at the time that wanted to read it. Or is my best friend that recommended it. Anywho, um... But it's a really good book, and if you haven't read it and you love, like, connection between, like, a hu like you know, a human and a animal, if you love animals, you're going to love this book. It, like I said, it's, there's points in it where it's very tear-jerking, because I almost cried multiple times in the book, so, yeah. Uh, it's definitely a book that I absolutely love and definitely recommend it. Uh... This copy, I'm trying to remember how I got this copy. I think I found this copy at a yard sale. Um, I was, when I was younger, my parents used to love going to yard sales. And so I always go straight for the books. And if there was a book there that I wanted, that, you know, I thought sounded interesting. I'd kind of read, you know, like. So I didn't tell you this in this review, but usually how I determine whether I like a book or not, I'll either read the description on the back or if it's a hard copy, which I've got a few. It's usually like right here on the front cover on the dust cover um and so yeah uh I'll either like read the description or I will read like the first like oh 
I hate it when books do this. Anyway, or I'll read like the first like page or two. You know, like kind of just like read through it. And that usually is how I determine whether I will like a book or not. Um, but you know, we'd go we'd go to yard sales and I'd instantly go for the books. You know, most kids this was like an elementary middle school. Most kids you know go straight for the toy section in at a yard sale or you know somewhere. You know, like in a grocery st you know, go to like a convenience store, you know, like a store that sells like groceries and all that. Most kids go straight for the toys. I went straight for books. I believe I, like I said, I believe I got this at a yard sale. I can't tell you how much it cost, but I believe I originally got this at a yard sale. I don't know if they sell this book anymore. I haven't seen it, like, anywhere. So, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you looked, you could probably find it on Amazon. You could probably find it on Amazon. Um, or... Sorry, um... Or, bar or I'm pretty sure you could order it, like, online on Barnes & Noble. So, yeah. Um, definitely a good book. Definitely recommend it. And I'm gonna go, because there's not really much more to say about it. I've given you, you know, like, how many stars I gave it. Kind of, like, what it's about. Um, there's a character in here. Um, I will say this really fast. Uh... So I told you the main character's name is Maya, um, and I believe if I can find the character. Oh, there's a male character in here that she meets later in the book. It's I believe it's her cousin. Um, his name's Peyton, and he kind of reminds me of one of my younger brothers, and so like that kind of like really took me there, like really took me to Maya's position. Um, I will mention this, I didn't mention this in the video, but when I read a book, I always seem to put myself as the main character, and it really helps a lot if it's a female main character. Like, I always seem to put myself in that character, and I always, like, imagine, you like, I'm the one experience, experiencing, like, what's going on, you know, like, and, you know, like, if she can see it, I can see it, you know, if that makes, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it also really helped that, you know, one of the main characters, one of the, not really a main character, he's kind of a side character, but he's also kind of a main character. Like, he's mentioned a lot in the book, um, when she's actually around him. And it kind of helped because, to put myself as the main character, because he did remind me of one of my brothers. But anywho, this, again, this is Paint the Wind by Pam Munez Ryan. And I'm gonna go, because my mom is calling me, so... I'm gonna go, so bye guys.